since humans started to think, one of the most fundamental questions that we have asked ourselves is the question if we are alone in the universe. I'm Mark Rubira Navarro and I'm doing my PhD in a collaboration between NIOS and Ciudad. Since I have memory, I've been interested in science. As a kid, I used to spend my summers in the mountains in Spain with my grandparents and walking around and asking them why are things as they are. What I think is driving me is the, this need of understanding things we are given here on Earth, such a short time span, and when I try to think about what's the best way to use this time, this is for science. Here in NEOS we have people that know so much about the ocean and people are always eager to discuss about research and new ideas. While on the other hand in TUDEL we know quite a lot about space missions. So what I really find interesting about this project is to bring these two teams together to try to create something new. As a planetary scientist, I work on geophysics. I look to bodies in our solar system in which there might be water, because we know that water means life. Of course, these extraterrestrial oceans are very different to the oceans that we have here on Earth. Temperatures there are very, very cold, so therefore it's very difficult to explain how is it possible to maintain a liquid ocean in these icy moons. So what we are trying to do is put a new thing into the discussion, which is tidal dissipation in the oceans of these moons. This is because the orbit of these moons is elliptical. This means that the moons get closer and farther to these very big planets, which are Jupiter and Saturn, and as a result, these bodies are stretching and compressing, stretching and compressing every time that they are orbiting their host planet. The oceans are receiving a lot of energy from these tides and due to this energy, enough heat is being released in order to maintain these liquid oceans. But of course, I'm not a marine biologist, so I do not know what is necessary for life to emerge in an ocean. What I expect is that marine scientists are going to use the results to investigate if this distribution of energy could be used for organisms um, in order to thrive in the oceans of these moons. This is the scope of the work that is being done in NEOS. It's actually very, very interesting stuff and very relevant for, for society. So I have to admit that I, I find it a little bit boring that the Netherlands is so flat because I used to run a lot in the, in the mountains. But on the other hand, here in Delft, we have a beautiful lake and I really also love to go there for the run. I also like um, these historic cities and towns that we have here in the Netherlands. It's very beautiful. And every day when I wake up and I see the canal, I feel very grateful that I have the chance to, to live in such a beautiful city. It's very close to two major cities, um, Rotterdam and Amsterdam, and then there's always something going on there. So there are concerts, there are expositions, so that is something that I really appreciate. Um, a lot of people ask me, what the hell are you doing studying these icy moons, which are just like some very small dots in the sky? And what I really wish to achieve is to include this effect of tidal dissipation and see if this helps to explain the answer of why do we have oceans in these moons. And then you do not only have the ocean to study, but you can actually compare that with other places in the universe. By doing this kind of comparisons, of course, you can get to understand much better why the ocean in Earth is as it is now. And who knows when maybe we find the molecules that makes up life.